Alright, welcome to Omoba Graphics. This is the logo we'll be using for this tutorial. So you can see, still in uh, what's it called? Uh, what's it called? This is JPEG format because it's having a background. You can see the logo is joined together. You can see that they are matched together. So they are matched together. Now the process of photo uh, pixel lab they are matched together, and this is in. Uh, PNG, sorry, JPEG file. So you can just go to the background, move the background to convert it to PNG file and save it for the one we want to use online or we want to use any app to convert. But uh, let us just save it like this to as JPEG. You can save it like this to as JPEG. Save as JPEG. Make sure you are saving on the Ultra. So you save as JPEG can save as JPEG again and you're good to go. So for PNG2 you can see I've moved the background. You can save as PNG. You can see it's already converted to PNG. So you save at Ultra 2. You can see you save as Ultra 2. So you don't need to be scared that okay maybe if your client you ask for a vector file you're not gonna be able to so let us jump into how to use this online or using any other app you can get any other app you can check google or type any other apps there are a lot of apps you can use to do it there are a lot of sites you can use to convert png or jpeg to svg just type jpeg to svg so that's all about that thanks let us jump into online and later work on adobe illustrator thank you okay there are other methods too you can use to uh what's it called we have some apps and we have some sites that you can use you can see you can go online as maybe your client uh, ask you to send a logo to them as a vector file maybe they want to still keep editing it or whatever so you don't need to be bothered so we have a lot a lot a lot of hours ago you can see this png to vector and you can see a lot we have a lot of sites we have some apps you can use to convert your png file from whatever and you convert it to a jpeg uh, sorry a svg or a vector file so we can see so let us just make use of one of these uh, sites let us make use of one of these sites so let's see online png or jpeg to svg converter so let us try it let us see how it works okay here they say choose a file okay you're gonna choose a file okay let's go to a file so that's the last i created this is a png file so I think my file is there already. Color one, one color. Okay, this is it. This is the uh, logo that I uploaded. So let us generate, and it, it should convert it to SVG for us. So let us generate it and see what uh, what happens. So we're waiting. <laughs> So we're going to be downloading the SVG. So we're downloading the SVG. So let us check for my downloads. Yeah. Downloads. Let's say downloads. So I think this one has been converted to a vector. To uh, Adobe Illustrator straight up. So we already create, I already created a document. This document is just whatever, you, if you know, you already know Illustrator, you should know how to do that. This is 2100 by 2100. So whatever. So this is the one that we created. This is the one that we created online. Or you want to use any app to create it. There are a lot of apps you can use to create it. And I will show you also the difference now and the one that is most preferable to use so if you are going to be using online or you want to use adobe illustrator for your conversion but we advise you use adobe illustrator for your conversion so you will see the reason why i say so now so let us put this inside illustrator okay so this is inside illustrator this is the one we did the conversion online we did this conversion online so this is in uh, well, SVG already. This is in SVG already. 
so if you can see the uh if you can see this is svg so let me drag it here you can see so i've dragged the image from here this svg so let me drag it into our uh, workspace and uh that thing let me delete this off i don't need this you know so let me zoom it out so i want to show something you can see all this all these scrunches you can see all those line at the edges you can see them so that is the advantage of using um of using adobe Illustrator to do your conversion you can see all this so now we just need to be clicking on it on this thing and we editing it one after the other which doesn't speak well you can see you can't be giving anybody that want to work for you you can't be giving them the stress of doing all this or using their smoothie pencil doing all this the stress so that's why you just you can't just afford to use i think we just what we need to do here is to delete some account and cut points from here so if you even delete it it's an issue because you didn't create it directly with uh, adobe illustrator so if you use pixel lab and you convert it directly from adobe illustrator it's going to convert it as if it's originally a vector so that's just the disadvantages of using online or any app to do your conversion and i'm bringing it to uh adobe illustrator so here now what you can do they are grouped sorry they are grouped. you can see they are grouped so what i need to do is for me to ungroup so after ungrouping you can see they are still together so i release so after releasing them i've made it uh each of them different components you can see so if i click on this let me click on this and drag it's not even edit it's not well editable it's not well editable like i don't know i don't know why it's showing like this so let us try something here okay okay let's see elongate that okay you can stretch that okay let us see for this test too okay it's the editable fine okay 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 this editable let me shut the corner what i don't just like about this is all the sponges all the sponges so that's it so let us drag in the one that we created with uh that we saved from pc lab let us drag this one apart let us drag this one to the end so let us bring in the one we created with pc lab directly gonna be a very big file so press on your shift key your shift key and press down and just zoom it down you can see so let me do it outside the arts board so that you can because this white background can be convincing so you might not know that it's having white background and she went up messing everything up so just do it outside there so see the difference now when you click on this image it can be in any color but we are now going to do what we call image trace. You go to this panel, you click on image trace. You see that default? If I use default, okay, I'm gonna convert it at default. Fine. But let us use white and black too. Let us try white and black shade of gray. Let us try black and white logo. So, okay. Now your logo is very nice on white and black. Very nice. So, you can see that's converted this to SVG2. Like the one we did online or you want to use any other app to do so and it's still on the white background one thing we do we just i just want to take this white background off is for me to you can see that i didn't save png from this app assuming i've saved it as png it's very easy for me i'll just be working on but i have not so the free color i don't think it will work but let us see something let us expand it you know the other time for the other one what we first did was for us to ungroup if i'm even placing it on it you can see that it's already separating the files it's already separating the files so if i click on it twice i can bring out anything that i want to bring out if i click on it twice you can see that 
so what i just need to do is just for me to ungroup them because they are all together in a group so if i click this file they are all together in a group so i just need to do what to ungroup them after releasing i'll give them so this white background is going delete so all this you're gonna leave some hours question little bit to element press shift down so that's all of them just be mindful so that i don't delete what you're not supposed to delete so you can see I've taking them off by pressing my shift click down so i delete all of them so you can see so let us now go and compare let me group them so let us go and compare so let us zoom this out you can see it is clean with no grunges it is very very clean with no grunges very very clean the way i want it to be it is very very clean with no grunges so that is just the difference so the difference in baba balu baba blue you can see this one now there are a lot of grunges there lot and lot of grunges there but here there's no there's no you can see none very smooth at end and i can scale it out to whatever size i want and scale it out see that's the importance of uh, what's going on. i used to think i'm not i'm photoshop that's the importance of vector you can see i can scale this file to whatever size i want i want to i want it to be printed on a very big big board but if you send it like that to them the way it was created on pc lab then you're going to have a lot of issues with the logo so you can see this this logo file you can see how large it is and it's still very very clean nothing no no blur no grunges nothing nothing so that's just the two uh the the, the basic uh different and more reason why you need to do it on pc like free color change the color as simple as that any color you want to use in the color you can change free color for this too yes you can change the free color too whatever you like to work yes but the two different is just that one will be more clean without grunges and the other will be yes so you can do whatever you want to do with this you can edit them you can adjust them do whatever you want to add to them you can do it to them let's show this so you can see you can see you can see, so, you can see them you can see what i'm doing today so you can see See and adjust them the way you like so that's all about that so i would prefer that you use adobe illustrator for your work adobe illustrator for your work not pizza was online or any app or any app that anybody will recommend to you adobe illustrator for your work you can see let me make it the same size so that you can see the difference more and more Make it the same size. This one is even still bigger than this one, and the spacing is not really shown. But you can see this it's very, very, very clean and clear. So, this is just the basic. And with that, don't forget how we did this for the recommended hours uh, of fashion. What I recommended to you bring in the image, bring in the image. After beginning, you do what you do image tracing. Let us use, use default. If you want to use default, let's just use default. You are using default. It's going to convert it to white and black automatically. You expand it. After expanding it, you ungroup them. After ungrouping, you take off. Okay, sorry. Let us reduce to take all this deletes and clean. And do whatever you want to do with them. You can see, so yes. You can see, so don't forget the process. It is very easy. Even though you don't know, you don't have a Adobe Illustrator, when you have a friend that asks and doesn't know this, you can just send your file to them. Okay, do it like this for me, or you just walk up there and you do it and you convert it yourself, and you are good to go. It's as simple as ABC. It's as simple as this. Very simple. You can see, you can apply. Gradient color to it too, just like normal 
it will just be like a normal logo that you created on Adobe Illustrator. So that's it. Thanks for watching. See